Welcome to our video requirements for brand names and logos in the Amazon store. If you were asked to name your favorite beverage, car, toothpaste, or snack, chances are you'd name a brand. That's because we associate brands with the products we like and the qualities we like in those products. If we enjoy the richness of a brand of coffee, for example, we might try their chocolates too. But what exactly is a brand? Product owners and other businesses establish brands using two primary tools, brand names and logos. A brand name is a text-based wordmark usually made up of alphanumeric characters, though it can also include some symbols. For example, the word Amazon is a brand name. A brand logo is an image-based design mark. Logos sometimes include a brand's name, or they can be a standalone symbol. Brands create and use brand names and logos or brand assets to establish and identify their business and products. You'll see them on products, packaging, tags, websites, and in various places in the Amazon store. Brands can use either a text-based brand name or an image-based logo to sell in the Amazon store. But it's important to note that when a brand wants to use a logo, their design mark needs to include a brand name. For example, a brand could only use a design mark like the Amazon Smile if they included the name Amazon. This requirement allows Amazon to confirm that the brand names selected or entered in Seller Central during the listing process are paired with the correct products. When a brand uses a brand name or logo in the Amazon store, they also need to ensure that it's permanently affixed to their products or packaging. Permanent brand names or logos are usually added during production. They're printed, sewn, or engraved onto an item. They're not something like a sticker or stamp that can be easily added or removed after production. If your actual product can't be branded because it's furniture, jewelry, or something similar, your packaging needs a permanent brand name or logo instead. Products can also be sold in the Amazon store without a permanent brand name or logo. These non-branded products are listed by selecting or entering generic as the brand value in Seller Central rather than a brand name. But if your products do have a permanent brand name or logo on them, make sure you include your brand name when you list. When possible, we also encourage product owners with permanent brand names or logos to trademark their brand assets with a designated government office in at least one country with a corresponding Amazon store. For example, in the U.S., brands can register with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, or USPTO. Product owners can use an active registered trademark or, in some cases, a pending trademark application or registration to enroll in Amazon brand registry. By doing so, they enjoy greater control over their product detail pages. They also become eligible to activate a series of Amazon selling benefits designed to enhance their performance. Additionally, trademarked brands enjoy legal protections for their brand assets which are considered intellectual property or IP in each country where they've been trademarked. If brands don't trademark their name or logo, they may still be able to list their products by obtaining an exception to the usual registration requirements outlined in the Amazon brand name policy. They're prompted to do so by error code 5665 when they first try to create a new listing using their unregistered brand name. For more information about trademarks and registration, watch our video, Register a Trademark for Your Brand in Seller University. And for more information about the different ways brands and generic product owners list, see our videos, Sell with a Registered Brand, an Unregistered Brand, or Generic Products, and Resolve Error 5665. This concludes our video on requirements for brand names and logos. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.